These are the photos of off-chip filter technologies. As you see, we have a LC filter, like uh, inductor and capacitance, dielectric, dielectric, uh, sorry, resonator. Saw filter. M mm, actually, this this uh, saw filter is commonly used. Uh, for example, as you remember, we said that we have antenna and there is a saw filter here. There is a filter here, let's say, and then we have um, you know res our receiver. And generally, if you want to use off-chip uh, filter, we use a fa saw filter. You know, it's commonly used too. They have a response like this, a band pass response, and we can select the band. They're commonly used. Uh, microstrip, like microstrip antenna, the same technology. Uh, helical uh, resonator and crystal. As you see, these filters are actually, you know, they're they have a uh, their size are really uh, big and their dimensions are high. So uh, that's the problem with off-chip filters. Uh, we can show actually uh, some of these filters here and the frequency range. Uh, as you see, the the highest frequency range belongs to microstrip and also with a low cost. So microstrip is a really good technology that we can use for uh, you know filtering the high frequency signals. And also surface acoustic wave SAW or saw filter is used uh, commonly. And uh, for example we can use this for cellular as you see the range is exactly there in cellular. And these these two filters are for uh, are commonly used for low frequency applications. And actually, the crystal has a high, you know, uh, cost. But these filters are small, comparing to, for example, the microstrip or dielectric resonators, or LC filter, actually. We're also going to talk about on-chip filter. The difference between on-chip filters between on-chip filters and off-chip filters is actually uh, this kind of on-chip filters they are they have they are small and uh, the area they occupy is basically small but they have like you know um, let's say the off-chip um, off-chip filter they 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 have like high precision I hope I'm writing this correctly. <laughs> I don't have really good dictation sometimes. Sorry for that. Uh, yeah, high precision and uh, they have like you know high Q. We will talk about the Q. Don't worry about that. But uh, basically, you know, in the case of functionality, off chip filter is of course better than on chip filter. But the problem is that off chip filter is really uh, they are big. They have a their sizes are big and um, there are also some other things that you have to you know uh, the connection the connecting of chip filter to uh, you know to our like for example receiver is challenging you have to you know consider the parasitics everything but on chip filter is a bit easier in that case so like both of them has its uh, own advantage and disadvantage so we, we Actually, we mostly use analog filters, and uh, here, as you see, the passive filters and active filters. Passive filters, the problem with passive filters, for example, the LC filter, they, they are bigger than the active ones, because we use inductor, and I inductor occupies a, a area which is really high. When we come to, want to when, when we come to uh, active filters, uh, sometimes you use the switch capacitor, which uh, they are good for low power applications. So basically, do have low power consumption, and GMC filter, uh, they are linear, and uh, also uh, th they are easy to design. Uh, easy, sorry. Uh, but uh, the switch capacitor design is really hard and it's it's complex. And as you see here, we need switch for switch capacitor. 
But these like these three one this one two three are the famous you know the most commonly used. Like Q enhanced LC also like we use Q enhanced LC. So I'm gonna show three examples here for example. Let's come to the right part first. We have like passive elements here inductor. We can make four type of filters from you know a capacitor inductor. We just have to you know uh, know how to make them, which we will explain later. This is just an example to show. Yeah, we can make a uh, LC filter from uh, inductor and capacitor. So this is this is low pass, this is high pass, band pass, and stop. And this is an example, as you see, it's on chip LC filter. This is on chip, and it's uh, designed to work for uh, 5.2 gigahertz, and it's a band pass filter. And as you see, the size is really small comparing to the off chip LC filter, which they're they're really big. They they have high area comparing to this one. And this is the same, like this is the layout of this circuit as you see. Like uh, these are the you know caps here and two induct inductance. And uh, they're like they seem like a loop antenna <laughs> actually. As I told like loop antenna is basically a inductance actually. And two examples of GMC filters we have for GMC filters we have GM cells here, one GM cell, two GM cell. And they're like this. This is the simplest GM cell that we can make. It's operational transconductance amplifier. And we if we use them, uh, if we uh, make this structure using two capacitance, we have, for example, second order GMC filter, which is probably a low pass filter, the second order. As you see, the switch capacitor structure is much more uh, complex. Uh, for example, we have to, first of all, we have two active elements like up amp here and we have capacitance and some of their capacitance are switched. That's, that's why it's called switch capacitor. And uh, we are not going to explain this in details because it's, uh, you know, the topic that is really, you know, it has lots of uh, information and it needs uh, to be explained in a season maybe. Um, here just just know that this this actually switches are controlled by pulse kind of the pulse we give to the switch and uh, we can make a s uh, filter from like um, the switches capacitors and active devices thank you for watching our video please don't forget to subscribe you can learn about this topic and more using our website the complete course on this topic is provided on our website at www.rasoft.com. Rasoft is providing a complete certificate on radio frequency. The RF basic concepts and fundamentals course is provided free at our website. The courses are complete step-by-step -step approach with quiz and examples and certificate of completion will be provided upon finishing each course. By taking the required courses in RF system and IC design with PASS status, RASAF would provide the RASAF Radio Frequency Certificate. The topics are chosen with advice from RF engineers in top industry companies like Apple, Qualcomm, Broadcom and Skyworks who are missing candidates with these skills.